hello, it's uh, Steve Bolton here, founder of Platinum Property Partners and Bolt. I'm here with Kevin Carhill, the hello. honorary life president, I think, of Comic Relief. That's right. And the founder of Sport Relief. That's right. And the former CEO of Comic Relief. Uh, all right, you've done your research. <laughs> I've done, we've done our research. <laughs> yeah. um, and you've raised over a billion pounds, I think, in uh, Comic and Sport Relief. Is that right, Kevin? Yeah, uh, to be strictly accurate, uh, while I ran Comic Relief, the collective effort of everybody, plus the extraordinary generosity of the general public and, and people like the BBC, this building that we're in used to be part of the BBC, but it was a fantastic collective effort over those 25 years to have raised and disperse over a billion pounds. So it's something to feel proud about and also eternally grateful to everybody who played a role in making that happen. Fantastic, it's an amazing achievement. And so we're here tonight for the Ending Homelessness Together campaign, yeah, good supporting campaign. supporting Crisis and many other organisations doing great work in the homelessness sector. Um, what's your sort of charity experience with street homelessness specifically? Well, it's interesting that one of the first causes that Comrade Relief adopted at the beginning, you know, it gave money internationally and gave money domestically, was street homeless. And internationally, there was a lot of work, particularly with street children, kids who lived on the street, who were obviously by definition homeless. But here in the UK, um, before I joined, I was told the, if you like, apocryphal story that one of the first grants that was given was to the Berwick Street uh, Hostel for Centrepoint, and that they got in touch and were really keen to get a couple of washing machines because when people and dryers because when um, people came into the hostel they not only needed to have a shower but they needed to get their clothes clean and you know to feel more comfortable and better uh, and cleaner and uh, in the course of those conversations about the washing machines uh, the charity said well what's the scale of this problem how many street homeless are there and um, they weren't able to answer the question because there hadn't really been any official study or baseline investigation. So Comic Relief said, we'll get you the white goods, because they're important, but we also want to fund a piece of work, uh, research, so you can enumerate the number of people sleeping on the streets, so then you're armed with that data and that information to go and then talk to government and local authorities and get better grant aid because you're aware of the scale of the problem. So both things happen, and that initial piece of research was used, uh, as I say, as a lever and as a tool to help unlock further funds to work with young, young street homeless in particular. Um, so that was a kind of an initial introduction of Comrade Relief to this world. On top of that, I do have a personal recollection of persuading Lenny Henry to spend the best part of a year, not literally, but um, investigating street homeless on the streets of London. And over a period of a year, we spent a long time going out every month, trying to find the same people, seeing if they were in the same position, and uh, tell the story, as it was then, of what living on the streets was really like. And uh, the two things struck me forcibly. One was the multiple layers of um, challenges that people face. Often you can think, well, that's a homeless person. But when you dig into their background, there might be abusive things that have gone on, there might be family situations that have fallen apart, there might be big arguments that have made them leave home. And, um, and so you weren't just dealing with the fact that they were sleeping on the street, but you were dealing with health, mental health, drug, and other related issues. So it's a much more complex situation than you would hope for. And the other thing I discovered uh, in when we made that film was that if you can tackle someone's situation very quickly, say within the first few days or first week of them becoming homeless, you've got a much better chance of getting them either back at home if they've left for reasons that could be resolved or into better accommodation and back on the right track than if they kind of spend longer on the streets and they get you know attuned to it and it becomes in a way their community and uh, where they feel comfortable so yeah. fantastic really great insights 
Um, I think what I love about the crisis campaign is about ending homelessness together. Yeah. It's about politicians, property sector, the third sector, media, all kind of coming together and joining forces. And what would you say to anybody listening in terms of what they might be able to do? What kind of action could people take? Uh, well, I think what, you, what you're pointing to there is that a multi-agency approach is necessary when problems are this complex and this uh, challenging. And so I think it's brilliant that different entities who can bring a different skill set and different aspects of the solution together to support each other and work collaboratively. And what's particularly fantastic is if an organization like Crisis, with help from evenings like this and the stuff you're doing, can catalyze that and have an incrementally greater effect than if they were just doing it on their own. Fantastic. Kevin, really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Indeed. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Right.